Ah, uh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I don't need to, though. But I think I'm gonna do it, guys. But hear me out. Hear me out first. Such a tough decision. We're capable of leaving the beta right now. We are on a version where I can go to Xbox Insider Hub and leave the beta and we can be on a stable version forever. But, out of the freaking blue, they added frogs and tadpoles. Oh, God. So what am I going to do? I backed up my world. And I backed it up right on the version where if I want to come back and leave the beta, I can. But as of right now, I'm going to leave the game and update to the newest beta to get frogs. Oh, villagers learned a new word, huh? All right, y'all. Let's see if I made a mistake. I think I made a mistake. I mean, as much as I want to see the frogs, I shouldn't risk my world like this. <laughs> the bee's still there. Banners are there. Before we do anything, I'm going to make a quick check. Looking good. All right, we're good. But it's going to look so good for our world here to see frogs hop around our swampy home. We don't live in a swamp, but you get what I mean. We need buckets and more buckets. Seven buckets will do. Ah, what a beautiful day in Minecraft. It's so weird how much I get excited to play Minecraft when there's just a tiny new feature in. But this is a whole mob. This is a mob that's going to have uses for the future. Yeah, I don't think they've added an exact use for them yet, but I'm sure they will. I don't know a whole lot about them yet. I don't know how I'm going to collect them or how you breed them. I think it's like seagrass or something for now. I'm sure in the future it's going to be the firefly they're going to add eventually. I don't know how you're going to kill those because they're literally two pixels <laughs> floating around. So now here at the ranch, I haven't really done a whole lot. I kind of took down some of the obstacles around the track. I think I'm actually going to get rid of this track altogether. Uh, I'm just not liking it so far. <laughs> But we're going to take horseback. I have a swamp over this way, and, well, we're going to see how... Eh, maybe I shouldn't take a horse. Oh, teeny. <laughs> I am nerding out right now over something so simple. I'm sure they'd be in swamps, right? They have to be. I don't think I... Oh, wait, isn't there something you have to toggle? Crap. Okay, I know there's experimental features you have to toggle, but I think there might be something new as well. Yeah, wild update, son of a... <laughs> okay, crap. Now we're going to have to see if this messes up my world. Great, watch. Now we're going to collect so many frogs and have such a great time, we're going to go back home and my house is just going to be like wrecked or something. <laughs> Are the tadpoles in the water? <gasps> Look, it's a frog! What's... Is there a slime? Hey, Bob. Hey! Hey, you! Are you scared? Oh my god, he has a walking animation. <laughs> Look at him! He's a chunky little dude! Hey, are you scared of us? Aww. Huh. Oh. Do I need water? That'd be weird. No, you can't. Wait, how do you pick these guys up? I want you, buddy. Come here. Oh, I'm guessing you have to lead these things. Yeah. Well, huh. <laughs> oh. I think I need to breed them, and then I pick up the tadpoles, and then I need to stock my rivers at home with tadpoles. That makes more sense. Wow, that is a very different Minecraft animation, you know? We haven't really seen that. Kind of forgot about this sky pack, but it's bugged right now, so when it goes nighttime, the sky doesn't turn dark. <laughs> um, while I was trying to update, I noticed in the Microsoft store, they had something called, well, it was like a different Minecraft game, but it was, well, it was this game. Hear me out. It was Minecraft for Windows 10, but it said Plus Launcher. If you guys know what that is, let me know, because it was like a whole different install. Wow, this looks weird. All right, you little slimy goofballs. Where you at? All right, see how this works. You just feed them like that. And then, where did this... Did, wait, where does the tadpole go? What? Oh, is, he, is that one pregnant? How do you know which one's pregnant? I'm assuming it's this... Oh. <gasps> Whoa. Is this staying under it? That's cool. Wow, look at that. Okay, do I pick that up with a water bucket? Oh, no. Or do I pick it up with my hands? 
Oh. Sorry. I'm new to this. Actually, I'm not. Did I have to pick that up with Silk Touch? Son of a... <laughs> hey, come here. I'm gonna probably kill your babies. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, you already... Okay. So I have my Minesweeper on me. Let's try this. Cool. I'm not understanding this. I think I have to wait for them to hatch, which is kind of weird. And then I can pick them up with a bucket. Okay. We got some planted right here. I'm going to make a little barrier so they can't escape when they do hatch. Oh! <gasps> that was really fast. Oh! Oh! Look at his little face! <laughs> Oh, is there just one? No, there's two. Come here, I'm friendly. Oh, there's more. I guess you can just do one at a time. <laughs> I don't see any more. I think we just got three out of that one. Oh my God. No, no. No, they're like bursted. Oh, okay, they're kind of chilling around here. Get back here. You're not going anywhere. Don't hurt me, drowned. I'm collecting my babies. Okay, well, well, we're here at the house. Um, I don't know exactly how they choose where their home is, but I'm assuming wherever they grow up from a tadpole to a frog, that is where their home is. Good luck, little buddy. I don't know if they. I don't think they can get out, right? Once they turn to frogs, though, they're obviously going to be able to jump all over the place. But I wonder how close of a proximity they stay. Will they wander off in one direction? <laughs> one direction. Only time will tell. I guess we will notice once we start seeing frogs hop everywhere. Oh, perhaps I should make a lab about this. That's what I normally do. Wait. I wonder if you can speed up the process. I don't know if you can feed a tadpole, but... No. Oh, you can! Oh! <gasps> Let me grab him. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up! Alright, now make some babies. Okay, good. <laughs> we got frogs at home. I wish they could stay like that for a while. Because that's actually a cool look for, well, just ponds. Alright guys, do your thing. I'm gonna go about my business. I'm gonna check up on them later. And, yeah. Oh man, that's gonna create like... We're gonna- oh god, I gotta be careful. I don't want too many frogs around here. <laughs> oh, those already hatched. Don't know where they went. I'm noticing they don't make ribbit or croaking sounds, so I'm assuming that's just a little- I said they added that, but it might just be- well, go figure a bug. It's time we bring down the Christmas tree. Wasn't I supposed to do this a few episodes back and I just completely forgot or something? Well, it's time we do it now. <laughs> Guess I'm just gonna put it where I normally put. Wait, how did I do this? I feel like we need to upgrade our tree. Like, <laughs> we've had this one since 2017. It's a little small. Wait. No, there's not enough room over there. I was thinking over there where we have a lot of room. That would look cool though. Like a really tall tree in there. <gasps> Wait a minute. Would I have enough room? Oh, I did. I could move that shin. Uh, I'd probably have to move this chair, which I'm okay with, in that. We'd have about one, two, three, four, five, about five blocks wide. Okay, screw it. I'm gonna build the tree in here. I just feel like it would go so much better in here. Because we have a lot more space. Not quite sure how I should make this look. Is that big enough bottom? Sure. How far should I go up with this? Wood. Just one more. How's that? Huh? It's big enough. I have enough room to walk around it. That's decent size. Wait, what? What's going on here? Need one right there. The hardest part is decorating this and making it look good. Um, we don't have a whole lot of small blocks in this game. Actually, we have none at all other than those heads. Wait, we do have. Well, we do have flower pots. That might look good. Wait, can you? You can't even place those on leaves. This is what I mean. There's so many restrictions in this game. It's like, what's the point even? Okay, uh, I decided to go with candles because they look like ornaments and you can have different colors. 
I have a few glow item frames all around it, just holding on to some kind of cool, unique items. I wanted to put that as a star on the top, but you literally can't put that thing on anything other than a solid block. Can I get rid of that? Nope, just all... God, you can't put anything on leaves, so I'm just going to do this. It's the only thing I can think of. That's a big block. I don't know. Ah, it doesn't look too bad, I guess. It is Minecraft, after all. Things are blocky. All right, there's our Christmas tree. <laughs> I could go through and add on some more candles to make the lights more bright. I think that looks good. Oh, wait, I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. Or wait, do I want that under there? I want to put red carpet under there, but I also want presents. Hmm. Just want to thank all the new donors. Siraj Patel, Nathan Mills, Landon Perez, Jack McCartan, Aiden Fugel, and Hiziam Athea. You four got on the wall, and eventually, here pretty soon, hopefully next episode, I think, I'm going to start messing with villagers. All these people will be turned into scientists. <laughs> See who's the last one alive. Thanks for your donations, people. You were too kind. Where's my frogs? So, I think all of them have hash. There's no more tadpoles. But where's the frogs? Do they go somewhere at night? What if they do? I never even thought of that. Let me sleep. My baby's already despawning. What's that? Oh, it's a frog. <laughs> He's trying to hide. There he is. All right, there's one over there. So they do wander off pretty far from the looks of things. I saw like three or four of them hopping around here not too long ago. But I hate to say I don't even see one now. Oh, there's one. <laughs> I'm sure they're all still around. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Some of them are probably even making their way down here. Ooh, I need to do that normally. Just, I need to put some frogs down here. It would fit the sewer so well. This place is so close to done. I might as well just do it. I'm just messing with this right here, right now. Well, not right now. Not too long ago I was because I need to find a way to transition that cave to down here. And I think I need to get rid of this. I'm not even thinking about it right now. Screw it. Ah, so today was a fun little episode trying out some new features. But we got to start building next episode. <laughs> um... So the slime ranch, I, I'm i kind of at a halt again. Because as I started building one of the barns, I took it down because I was like, wait, something else might look good here. And then I had this completely different vision. And now I'm debating on what to build here now. But I think it's still going to be the ranch. I'm just getting, this is all I have left right here is to get rid of this little mess. I think I'm going to get rid of this track. And uh, we'll see what we can do with it then. But today's comment question of the day comes from World of Kyle. Are you going to go back and work on the space station a little more? Actually, I need to go work on the castle, too. <laughs> How did I already forget? Oh, I didn't forget about it. What do you think? Should we go work on the space station soon? It was actually supposed to be real soon we were supposed to go work on it, but all of these weird bugs started happening where it's been making me a little nervous to go out and explore. But I think it's all okay now. And I wouldn't mind seeing some of the new, like, newly new generated terrain. But we also got to think, what else did we have to do on the space station? I want to build multiple different like hallways like this leading to different rooms that are going to be studying different things in the end. I want the space station to also have zero gravity, which is that thing where I was going to bring one of the shulkers over there. And every time you walk in, they would hit you with one of their anti-gravity floating pellets. But I felt like that would have been annoying. So I might mass produce some jumping potions and just make it feel like we have less gravity on the space station but i definitely do miss the end we also got a lot more in cities to explore around there so we're definitely not done i've got a lot to decide in the next few episodes but i gotta start getting my scientists bred up and stocking up these hallways so i can start putting all the donors names on them <laughs> i'll see you guys in the next episode though thank you for watching see you guys later bye bye